All right, welcome back to Anton Math. And in this video, I'm going to go over the basics of solving a right triangle and what we mean when we say solving a right triangle. Okay, so let's just say I'll make a little general right triangle here. Now what solving a right triangle breaks down to is um, typically we'll be given some information about a triangle but not all information about a triangle. And solving the right triangle just means that we're going to take the information that we have and we're going to use that to um, solve out for the rest of the triangle. Now as long as you have at least three pieces of information about a triangle, we can use those three pieces of information and what, we know, what we've learned about SOHCAHTOA to solve out the rest of the triangle. So here one of my pieces of information here is going to be 30 degrees. The other is this angle, C of 90 degrees. And I'm going to have this side is of length 12. And that's all the information that I'm going to give for this problem. So let's say that this side is B and this side is little a. Now typically when we label a triangle, we label the vertices as capital letters A, B, C, and we label the little sides as the little letters A, B, C, where the A's correspond to opposite angles from sides. See, and this would be my little c, this 12 would be my little c, it corresponds opposite side to the angle big C, and here my little b is the side opposite of my angle big B. So this big A, big B, big C, they correspond to these vertices, but they also correspond to the angles. So let's go ahead and start solving out this triangle. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve out for this angle B. So see, over here on the right, I'm going to denote this as this little sign here. This means my angle big B, right? So this means my angle B. And we see that I have 90 degree angle here, a 30 degree angle here. And we know that the interior angles of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees. So this angle here is going to have to be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 30 degrees, right? I've already used 90 and 30, so whatever this difference is, that's going to be what's left for this angle B. And so that's going to be 60 degrees. And so this is going to be one of those 30, 60, 90 triangles uh, that we talked about in the last video, isn't it? And that'll help us to find these other sides. Now my little a, um, I can do my little a in two different ways. The little a is across from 30, so I know this is my smaller of the two sides, a and b. Now from the last video with 30, 60, 90 triangles, we know that if this is a, then 12 is going to be equal to 2a, right? My hypotenuse is twice the length of my little side. So my a here is going to be 6. And we also learned that the, the longer of the two short sides is going to be the short side times square root of 3. So my b here is going to be a times square root of 3 or 6 square root of 3. Now let's just say it wasn't a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I've chosen some uh, easy triangles here for these examples uh, so we don't need to use a calculator. And in the next uh, several videos we'll be doing problems that you would need a calculator for. But let's just say I didn't realize that this was a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Well, then I would just use SOHCAHTOA in order to solve this out. So let's take it a, a step back. And instead of using the properties of 30, 60, 90 triangles, let's find little a and little b using SOHCAHTOA. Right? Now, I have my hypotenuse. So I'm going to be looking at parts of SOHCAHTOA that I can use these angles that, course, that, that, that use my hypotenuse so I'm not left with two unknowns, right? For example, if I choose tangent here, if I say tangent of 30 degrees is A over B, well, I'm not going to be able to solve either A or B because I have two unknowns. Um, I can't solve them at the same time. So I want to set up equations using SOHCAHTOA that only has one unknown variable, right? So first, let's look at sine of 30 degrees. I know I want to use sine of 30 degrees because that's going to be my opposite, which is A, over my hypotenuse. And I know what my hypotenuse is. My hypotenuse is 12. So now I can multiply both sides by 12, and I get that A is equal to 12 sine of 30 degrees. And we know what sine of 30 degrees is, right? Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. So this is going to be that A equals 6. Right? And we knew that already because it's 30, 60, 90 triangle, but this is a much more general way of using SOHCAHTOA to solve this triangle out that's going to work all the time, not only when it's a special triangle. Now that I have A, there's several ways that I can proceed to get B. There's no one way to do this. I can say, well, cosine of 30 degrees is my adjacent over hypotenuse. That's B over 12. Right, So that gives me that B equals 12 
cosine of 30 degrees. Cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2, so this gives me root 3 over 2. And that 2 simplifies with that 12, and I get 6 root 3, like we had before. No problem. So using Sokotoa to find my b. Now, I said we could do it multiple ways. Well, I could use my Pythagorean theorem, right? I know that by my Pythagorean theorem, let's say we didn't do it this way, I would have that a squared, which is 6 squared, plus b squared. Not my 6 and my b kind of look similar. So this is 6, this is b. This is going to be 12 squared, isn't it? Right, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, 6 squared is 36, so I get that b squared. We have 12 squared is 144, minus my a squared, which is 36. So that's going to be uh, 108. So then my b is going to be the square root of 108. Now 108 is um, divisible by 12. This is the same as the square root of um, Oh, no, not 12, sorry, it's divisible by 36, isn't it? This is square root of 6 times 6 times 3. I mean, it is divisible by 12, but that's not what helps me here. So I can factor out this 6, right? I know if I have the square root of a number squared, I can pull that out of the square root, and I just get 6 root 3. All right, so all ways that we could solve this triangle, and, and they all work out great. So let's just do another, let's do another quick example. Um, like I said, I'm doing kind of easy examples here with angles that we're very familiar with so we don't need to plug anything into a calculator. So let's say that my three pieces of information are this triangle is that I have a 90 degree angle. I know that this side here is 4 and I know that this side here is 8. Okay. Now let's say I want to, um, let's go ahead and label some of this. Um, I know what my angle C is. Now let's say I want to find my angle A. Right? Well, I know that. Um, let's do sine of my big angle A. That's going to be equal to my opposite over my hypotenuse, so 4 over 8. So that's going to be 1 half. Now, if sine of A equals 1 half, right here I have an acute angle. So I'm looking for angles A that are in quadrant 1 of my unit circle. So that gives me that my A is going to be equal to the school, um, sorry, uh, pi over 6, isn't it? Pi over 6 or 30 degrees. I know that these are the angles where sine is equal to 1 half. So this is going to be a 30 degree angle. And look, we're, we're back to our 30, 60, 90 triangle, aren't we? So I can use the properties of that. If this is my 30 degrees, that means my B is equal to 4 times the square root of 3. And this other angle is going to be 60 degrees. So on the right, we document that B is 4 square root of 3. Angle A equals 30 degrees. And angle B equals 60 degrees. And so we found the other three pieces of information, right? We always have six total pieces of information, three sides and three angles. If we're given any three pieces, we can find the other three just by using Sokotoa. All right, now that's how you solve a right triangle. In the next two videos, we're going to be doing some word problems that use right triangles. Um, and these are very common test type problems. And these are the homework problems that usually give students a little bit more trouble. Uh, so I hope you tune in, and I hope they're helpful. We'll see you there.